what had happened on July 6th of this year, a warrant was issued for his arrest. Through his previous lawyers, he had agreed uh, to do 600 hours of community service, uh, obtain travel permits, do a lot of things on probation. And of course, this is something that's been going on uh, with he and that court for quite a while. Things got out of control. They came to me on July 16th and basically said, you know, hey, can you have clean up this thing? Because it's, 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 it's out of control. Well, he was facing yesterday two and a half years in prison for not doing for the third time what the judge told him to do. What was those uh, things the judge told him to do? The, the judge told him, one, uh, to, you know, take uh, uh, drug and alcohol classes. Mm -hmm. Two, do 600 hours of community service. Three, don't travel it without getting permission from your probation officer. And also, you ought to report to probation. Well, that this, yesterday was the third time having come back before the court, twice before the same judge, for the same issues. And technically and generally, most people in that position end up being revoked for the balance of that time. Okay. Had he been revoked for the balance of his time, it was a little over two years. It's an aggravated assault charge. He would have served about two years in prison. We were able to convince the court yesterday uh, to, to do some things, not exactly what we wanted. It didn't, it didn't go exactly like we wanted, but it wasn't as bad as it could be. They, they gave him a 12-month sentence where he would do six months at the Fulton County Jail and, and possibly be released even earlier than that if he, if he makes trusty. But that's what the situation uh, was about yesterday. Uh, we tried to uh, uh, impress upon the court that you know, we could use the, uh, a young kid like him to help save the sales money by being a positive impact to children. And a lot of kids who are activists. The court didn't, you know, didn't really kind of buy that very much like the Tip case because uh, the, the court noted. In T.I.'s case, T.I. was told to do 1,000 hours of community service and T.I. did 1,030 mm. and never had an issue with probation. Now, how, how many hours did Gucci Mane do? It, he did none. This is the second time going back for the court on that issue of doing community service as ordered. He was ordered to do 600, right. and what they brought what they brought him back back to do. In other words, the last time he was in court, exactly. when y'all reported on that situation, mm -hmm. he was given a year then, and the judge told, "I give you a year. Mm -hmm. You will do 600 hours of community service when you get out." And if you recall, you know, Gucci told the judge, "I'm going to do it. You'll never see me again." Exactly. Um, and God out of control, uh, in, and I think, you know, uh, it, it, it just spiraled completely out of control, and I was kind of brought in to, to kind of, you know, save this thing from, from total disaster, and I think we did. Now, we were watching the news on yesterday, and they were saying that um, the charges were, uh, uh, his urine was dirty. Is that true or false? That was one of the charges. That was a, There were several charges. One, tested positive. Two, paid to attend the drug and alcohol classes. Three, they to do any community search. Mm. Four, traveling without permission. Mm. There were a number of, char of charges, but one thing about it, uh, I I'm very impressed and I I I I with, with Mr. Davis because yesterday he stood up, he 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 accepted responsibility for, for his conduct. He was clean and he was sober, and he told that court that's the first time he's been clean and sober for four months straight months, a long time in his life. He was very articulate, mm -hmm. and he kind of understood what he was facing. He expected the worst, being two and a half years in prison. But it didn't happen that way because he was very clean and he was very sober and he was very articulate. He was a different person yesterday in court than he'd been before. Mm. I think it, he, he has a public service announcement that comes on BET where he talks about his sobriety. And I think he really takes it seriously. Mm. Unfortunately, it just happened a little late. Mm, 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 mm. I, you know, I, you know, I, I explained to the court yesterday. You know, I wish I had gotten his case a lot earlier mm -hmm. and been able to work with him a lot early on some of the issues, so we wouldn't have to deal with that the way we had to deal with it yesterday. But we were fortunate in a lot of ways because when I brought when I was brought in this case, they were looking for him at that point in time to lock him up, mm -hmm. and I got that 
Yeah, I got that stop. Hey, hey, Dwight, as his lawyer, let me ask you a question. Because I, I got to ask this, and, and I got to just say that, you know, Gucci is a personal friend of mine. But I know that people that are listening right now are saying, isn't that hypocritical to say that he's sober and he cares about his sobriety, but the hit song that he has is called Wasted? Well, as he put on on, from his, on that particular uh, public service now, he said, I make songs with your fun and with your entertainment, but I take my sobriety seriously to be safe in life. So, yeah, you know, on one hand, you can look at it one way, but and I think that the, the, the makings of that song Frank occurred before he in that road of sobriety too. Mm-hmm. All right, well, you know, I had to ask that because you know, oh, no, I understand. Yeah. I, I, I expected that to come up. Yeah, I expected that to come up. But yeah, at the end of the day, I make party songs. Like, he made the public service announcement after having made that song, and of course, the song was made before you know he got really clean and clean up the phone. All right. Well, Dwight, thank you so much. And as you work with him, if if he needs help, you know, allocating that public service time, we can help him. You know, we are going you know. to do, we are going to do everything possible to utilize his talents. Okay, good enough. Positive and productive. Let me tell you something, friend. In this world, all you got is your dreams and your balls, man. Without that, what kind of life are you living, huh? Working for somebody else? <laughs> That's a joke. Let me tell you something. There's no such thing as stealing. This world was made for our taking. Remember that. I want this world. If anything can stop me. Love in these streets. Cause that's who we made me. I want this world. D-O-N-D-I-E. Playing the game. Do it till I R-I-P. Big play, big change. What you think I go for? Hate is just hate. 